Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So we are from Group Lex 2003, Group Group 42. And today we will be doing our fourth video discussion, which is to review the movie The Pursuit of Happiness under the genre of drama that we have chosen on our last discussion. So before we start, we shall introduce ourselves. My name is Alia Maisara. My matrix number is 200268 and I'm taking Computer and Communication System Engineering. So, good morning everyone. Hi, Assalamualaikum Adam. Uh, my name is Muhammad Halif Al-Fazli. You guys can call me Halif. So, my matrix number is 206867 and currently I'm taking Bachelor of Communication with Anis. Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone and Assalamualaikum Adam. Uh, my name is Muhammad Al-Fatih Besudin and my metric number is 203465 and currently I'm taking Bachelor of Human Development Science. Assalamualaikum, my name is Amira Atila Binti Azmi. My metric number is 200806 and currently I'm taking Bachelor of Science in LGBT. Hi, hi Assalamualaikum, my name is Fatin Amira Binti Mamisham. My metric number is 207236. Uh, currently, I'm taking Bachelor of Art in Malay Language Linguistics. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nuaya Stasha Binti Abu Sama. My metric number is 207129. My course is Bachelor of Communication. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nuraimina Binti Mama Sa'ad and my metric number is 202203. I'm taking Bachelor Economy. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurasi Kiwani, Binti Mama Usaini. My metric number 202088. Currently, I'm taking Bachelor Economy. Assalamualaikum and good morning. I wish to Madam and my fellow friends. Once again, my name is Nik Rashika Binti Nik Roslan and my metric number is 208033. Currently, I'm a first year student of Bachelor of Mathematical in Science with Honor. Nice to meet all of you here again for discussion 4 and I hope that we can have a fruitful discussion today. Just that from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, Madam. Hi, everyone. You all in good condition. Uh, my name is Jamila with my number 201990. Currently undertaking bachelor's fund development year two. Yeah, guys, uh, that's for our introduction. And um, have you all watched the movie? Yes. Yeah, yes. do watch it. Yes. Yes. And, yes. and do you enjoy the movie? Of course, enjoy. Yes, of course. Absolutely enjoy the movie. Okay, good. It's a positive feedback. Um, I, I wish to um, give some uh, my, my opinion on the storyline. May I start the discussion? Yes. Yes, yes, um, carry on. Sure. Okay. In, in, this, uh, in this film, and uh, this movie, sorry, uh, Will Smith plays a single father uh, ex and who, who goes from becoming homeless to become a wealthy businessman in this inspirational drama. For this look at the pursuit of happiness, um, Chris Gardner, uh, the castle, uh, had great hopes in the early 1980s in San Francisco, but he could hardly make enough money to keep his young family afloat. None of his business ventures succeed, and his wife, double shift job as a hotel maid, is their only source of stable income. As she hits the breaking point and tells Chris that she's going, he demands that Chris Jr., the young, the young son, to stay with him. Uh, Gardner demands his son to stay with him. Chris is persuaded that an unpaid internship at a respected stock trading company would lead to a career. But, as a single parent, he is finding it more difficult to make ends meet. Father and son are evicted from their hotel room and end up on the pavement. If they can't find a bed at a homeless shelter, they sleep in the public toilets 
at subway train stations. Throughout it all, Chris is a demon about providing his son with whatever he had as a child. That is a father's love called. Chris does, in the end, realize his desire. The internship leads to a career and then to the establishment of his own brokerage firm in the New York, Chicago and San Francisco. He is now a million multi millionaire and well-known as motivational speaker. Bill Smith says, as, uh, as an actor, he was drawn to the plot, but worried about depicting the often heartbreaking circumstances in real life. Bill Smith claims that the experience transformed him as an actor and that, as a bonus, reenacting the event of Chris Gardner dub, the worst year of his life, brought Smith and his son a firmer basis in their relationship. Uh, yeah, that is about the storyline. And this film debuted at the North North uh, America box office, earning 27 million during its opening weekend. And it was Smith's sixth consecutive number one opening and one of Smith's consecutive 100 million blockbusters. That is awesome. That's from me. How about you all? Anyone have any feedback? I want to share the point of view about the actor and actors in this film as I was just saw this movie The Pursuit of Happiness for the first time last week. So this drama is directed by Gabriel Moschino and it follows the character of Chris Gardner played by Will Smith and Chris Gardner is a successful salesman who is really struggling to make and meet in the city. He also has young son played by Jaden Smith who he has to feed him behind on a lot of his bill payment and the whole movie is essentially a pressure cooker for Chris as he faces a lot of obstacle while trying to chase financial stability and in his mind happiness. The Pursuit of Happiness is an emotionally happy movie as well as films that showcases the strength of the human spirit through one character and that character is of course Chris Gardner played by Will Smith who gave a, a fantastic performance in this film. Mm -hmm. He really makes you feel as though you are along the right for every twist and third in his character's life mm -hmm. as faces a lot of hardship and you can feel the pain and desperation in this voice mm -hmm. as the movie progresses and it breaks your heart when he tries to take away yes. to explain his situation to his young son played by Jada Smith in his very first role he was pretty solid as well he was a young child so it wasn't a fantastic performance and not too believable but still very respectable and especially for such young actor i also want to give a shout out to stand in Nee Wilson, who was in a supporting role in this film very solid didn't see much of her about Whatever screen time she had, she made it impactful at time. I think the pacing of the film could have been a bit better around a halfway mark of the film. I was trying to get a little bit disengaged. I think Gabriel Muccino is definitely more of a substance oversight director, especially in this film particularly. The editing, cinematography and music was very unremarkable and there was good innocent i didn't notice anything bad about them mm -hmm. but in a but in a way stylistically they were pretty plain but again i think it is real smith lead performance in this that really stole the show and won me over and it's really elevated this movie i recommend it to any anyone who enjoy inspirational or uplifting pieces of work and that is why I am going to give the pursuit of happiness it of a ten. So how about you guys? I also agree with you, Nick. Uh, and that point can relate with the message that this film is trying to leave the audience. One of the best messages is if uh, a portrait of the African American man who turns out uh, to be a extraordinary single parent, uh, and then his but he nurtures his son with the tenderness and love uh, that is uh, impressive until he joins other homeless people who find food and logging to get on his life. But uh, with high spirit, the Chris has managed to overcome one obstacle and 
setback after another. Certainly, his son's uh, trust and love helps carry him along. But uh, mm-hmm. the movie want to uh, us wants us to be believe that anyone can break through to the big money if they only apply themselves. However, others, you guys agree with me? Yes, I agree with you all. I would like to share uh, some message and syn- short synopsis for you guys. Uh, this film give a message that effort um, will not be better result. The happiness is not a goal, but happiness starts from the process itself. It, uh, in in this story, Chris Gandhi held, himself has become a CEO of Star Stop uh, Brokerage. Um, calling by Gandhi, Rich, and CEO. The film is not available now. Available in all uh, channel and is on the trending list. Production more than described ago. Suitab- uh, this movie suitable for um for people who can watch with family or alone when you need inspiration to uh, <coughs> to pursue pursue your dream. Chris, uh, I think Chris uh, become a stop a stop bro- uh, broker. The synopsis, the film, the pursuit of happiness continue. It see the ceiling health production is not the path of uh, success. He also tried to become stop broker by doing an apprenticeship first. The stronger to enter an apprenticeship was really touched because he had to serve one night in prison because he could not to pay a ticket. He has to go from interview to uh, to rented clothes and run from the police station for for his uh, internship. Crystal, how we was able to get the place in such a messy uh, synopsis this film the pursuit of happiness uh, decide the story of the film we can read it first be, uh, before watching this film tell the story of the struggle of ha- to find happiness in life uh, the story center of the character chris garner who has a uh, difficulty paying of the all daily need because of a wrong investment will smith play the character chris garner Will his son Jade Smith, uh, the biological son of the Smith, play Chris' son Christopher? That's all from me. How about you guys? That's good. Uh, from you guys, from Jamila, Nick, and Fatin. And actually, this move after I watch the movie, and uh, this movie will be the first of my favorite movie myself because uh what can i say the movie said about uh that don't uh the coverage don't don't make people uh you can let people discover the coverage your form from your dream just because you have unsuccessful dream themselves if you remember the scene of basketball court when the creator will smith was playing you discovered his son from spending too much time in the court uh, because he feel that his son doesn't feel, uh, doesn't, what you can say, his son could excel at the sport. Son, uh, son, some advice due to the many failure he had experienced. Not just the failure at the sport, but the failure uh, in, uh, in the general. Uh, so, what, ki- uh, what can I say? Uh, don't let don't let people make you a victim to their failure and unhappiness. Don't let them kill your dream by projecting their negativity on. Uh, that's made me feel uh, this was a good mo- uh, motivate movie for our conversation. Yeah, I agree with all of you. Since. Uh, this story somehow reminds me about a song, which is, uh, I don't remember the, the style, but I remember the chorus. Who next? Your mother? Who next? Your mother? Who next? Your mother? And then your father. That's the song. Might be what, um, all of us might uh, hear that song. So I think that somehow this movie want to make me cry since it's 
people about the father sacrifice sacrifaction. And I love the scene when the father sacrificed, when he didn't eat, even they are at the restaurant, didn't eat, but he looked at his son with affectious, affectious uh, look. I mean, you know, when uh, your father keep looking at you with affectious look, and somehow when you are still young, you don't understand it. But uh, after we look at the movie, it's, uh, make me, just want to make me cry lah. And there is no love and loyalty more than your parents' loyalty and love. Okay. And I think this is a good story for all of us and for, lo- for all ages to watch and to, kept as, to be kept as, as favorite movie. And I think, yeah, that's, thank you for recommending this movie and I really enjoy it. So yes, I strongly, yeah, I strongly agree with Attila, which is um, I also cry when I watch this movie because um, in real life I really really uh, don't like to watch the drama drama genre. But uh, after I watch this movie, I think that I really really are uh, touching and um, make me uh, realize that. Uh, the effort of the father uh, to taking care of his son. So uh, I think that this that is the main message to um, to send uh, to all of the um, viewer. So I think that uh, um, this uh, movie is really really suitable to watch for all ages um, um and that is uh, what i want to say because um all of you have uh, have done uh, the storyline and also what i can review is the main message of this movie which is uh, the effort of fathers to taking care of his son so so uh, what do you think guys and, and and sorry sorry and uh, I want to say thank you to who uh, who 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 who, <laughs> who uh, suggest who this movie me. yeah yeah so recommend this movie so uh thank a lot for Nick if I'm not mistaken uh suggest this movie so thank you so much I really enjoy it okay I want to add on something. The movie The Pursuit of Happiness is um, a great example of someone who has a little to nothing but choose to be happy. In this journey, through the struggle and trials that single father, Chris Gardner, has to take. You see the real side of hard work and integrity, Chris Gardner, played by Will Smith, is just to try to give his son a good home as he's on a the pursuit of happiness. This movie does not only show the hard work of single parents, but it shows that no matter how hard you get pushed down, you should always get up and keep going. I love the strong connection that the father and son role have in this movie. This um, movie, actor with Miss uh, shows his true emotional side during this movie as uh, he was actually going through this situation occurring in the movie, there could not have been a better cast pick for this movie. The pain, struggle, love and hope seem so real as uh, if you are watching a documentary on someone's life. Smith uh, usually look at a comedy actor shows uh, what he can really do by checking the tears um, audience eyes. So that's all. Me. Uh, so I want to add my opinion about this movie. So firstly, I want to say that the chemistry between the cast of um, the father and the son is really amazing. Uh, but that is also due to the fact that they are 
uh, actual father and son in real life. So it doesn't really feel like acting. And also Jaden Smith, the son, did a really good job with the acting, especially when he is only eight years old at the time. And he nails all the scenes really good. And like you all said, um, this movie really highlights how hard work never betrays you. For example, how Chris Gardner, the main character, he never gives up and um, still accept the internship, even when it doesn't pay any money. And also the chance of getting the job is really um, thin, which is one out of, I think, 200 uh, people. But in the end, um, he actually get the job uh, because he never gives up, even when he got homeless and have no money. So that is my opinion. Yeah, I agree with Alia. The actor done a great, amazing job. Thank so you. what about uh, Natasha? Uh, I think uh, the person the pers of happiness uh, based on a true story and set in 1981, San Francisco. Person beginning has Chris Gardner and his wife Linda and uh, he been travel. She, uh, she would dra uh, double shift uh, during laundry hotel and he tried to sell bone destiny scanner, especially uh, made medical machines dead and Chris admit to in uh, voiceover uh, too expensive for most uh, doctors to buy. When Linda appointed the family, Chris remained to demand that uh, he spent six months work in an unpaid internship uh, at Dean the, the Witter that set uh, on be becoming a stockbroker. He's smart enough and good uh, with number his figures have provided that much by serving a uh, rap rapping uh, cube in front of a dim with broker, has a stud studies and scrub by Burley, earning enough this week to pay for a meal. Uh, Chris is sure he's going to make it. Can I add some point? Yeah, sure. Sure, you can. Actually, actually, this movie said that uh, being poor did not stop to be successful or to to being what we want. So, like we like like right now, we in pandemic and uh, more people said that. They have no job at all. They have no, no income to get. But if we can see, uh, we if we go outside, we shift for the job. Actually, have a lot of job to do, have a lot of part time to do. But he said to himself that I don't, I don't have a job. I can find a job. But uh, if he want to do something, he want he wanted something. He can uh, successful with what they want, what he want. So, get this movie so motivate to watch, to go to watch. And what I can see, uh, I'm glad that Nick Rashika I really enjoy it. That's it. The message that I get from this movie, first and foremost, is about survivor. This is because survivor is the most important thing for humanity. There is a fair amount of Americans that don't survive unemployment. Chris Gardner was unemployed and he would sell bones, density scanner as a living, having no steady job. They were often forced to spend in motel, homeless shelter, and even subway bathrooms. The second is determination. So what is the determination? It is determination is about something that you can achieve anything you want if you try hard enough and don't give up even, even when times are hard. You can see this all through the movie when Chris 
scanning around from place to place just to be there on time. Another important message is when Chris tell his son to not let anyone ever tell him that he can't do something in okay. his life. Thank you. With that, I, I, uh, I think um, uh, this discussion is off, and uh, we can enjoy uh, the next movie after this, right? Let's uh, let's meet again in, in the next meeting. Next, yes. Okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you, everyone. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Thank you madam. Thank you,